Brute strength hoisted canvas sails, bones got broken, ships sank, and lives were lost. Sailing can still be perilous, but today's boats are lighter, faster, and easier to sail. Coming about. Okay, we'll get the jib. And the when side. you're racing the Swiftsure International Yacht Race in a tri hull like Victoria's John Green, switching from canvas to carbon fiber helps him go faster. Weight is critical. Approximately every 100 pounds takes four seconds per mile off your time. Saw trails built from fiberglass, wood, and carbon fiber. At 31 feet long, she weighs just 4,000 pounds. She sails like a breeze, in a breeze. It's like a hot rod. I, I feel it's like driving a Porsche. It's very responsive. It's a weight to, to sail area ratio, which makes the boat go. And go, she does. On this day, Sautrell managed nearly eight knots with 9.4 knots of wind. When you're going well, you just get into a groove and uh, you'll be going along at a nice speed, 14, 15 knots, and you're just so comfortable doing that. And you hit a lull and you slow down to 10. And my, my wife will stick her head out and say, what have you done? Why are we going so slow now? You ready, Gary? Yep. Here we go. Helm to Lee. Gary Davis knows how much sailing has changed. He skippered the Navy trainer, Oriole, for four years. It takes about 20 people to sail Oriole. It takes almost a dozen or so just to hoist the mainsail because, because there's no winches or anything like that. You need, you need all those guys lying, sitting on the deck there just to get the mainsail up and then a couple other guys to haul down the jiggers and get it up the last little bit. This, you can put the sail up by yourself. This boat is uh, rigged almost for single handing and double handing, so it's seldom that once we have the sails up like they are here, it's seldom we would leave the cockpit. If I want to go up a gear to go faster, I roll in the smaller jib at the front and I roll out the bigger jib at the, at the, uh, at the very front. And conversely, if the wind is too high, I roll in the big one and roll out the smaller one. It's like shifting a car down into a lower gear. Old square riggers need lots of wind to sail safely. In light winds, they drift or were anchored tacking or sailing against the wind was virtually impossible. This boat is, is uh, simple to tack. Uh, you turn the tiller over, watch the bow. The main handles itself, there's hardly anything you have to do to the main. And you take a sheet back here, which is this line here, and you change it from one side to the other. Then about 10, 15 seconds, you're going in the op uh, 90 degrees to your direction and going upwind on a port tack instead of a starboard tack or vice versa. So can a sailor like Gary choose between canvas and carbon? I wouldn't want to have to pay to take care of Oriel, but I sure like sailing her. But I would probably rather own a boat like this and race it around. So, tough question. I, I couldn't pick one over the other. You know, it's, it's, like, it's like, who do you love more, your mom or your wife? <laughs> sailing has changed, but the love of the sea remains. John says he just can't get enough. <laughs> I just love it. I look forward to summer, we can get out on the boat, and I love it in the winter time, and it's just sort of a certain relaxation that just sort of takes over. And that's why I don't mind at all doing Swiftsure, and if it's 15 or 18 or 20 hours, it's just 20 hours of fun.